that we're hearing tonight are from the county. Item number three is REZ 2022-09. Mr. J.D., the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good evening, Commission. Again, this case is a request to rezone the property from R1 notice to residential to commercial general, perspective of commercial use. This is a corner lot currently accessed off of James Road, which is a county maintained major collector. Continued access, if approved, from Smith Street will be determined by the county engineer during plan review process once an actual use is determined. Is there any comprehensive plan? It's depicted as a neighborhood activity center. The CT zone is listed as a recommended zoning. You'll note that the property contains no weapons, but it is in a highly developed urban area. Aspects of the case further consideration are surrounding R1 zonings, the commercial zonings to the east, approximately 450 feet, and to the south, approximately 850 feet, the major collector designation of James Road, the infrastructure laid designating the urban service area, and the urban density is supported on the lot. The TRC did review the application and had no other objections or comments, noting that if approved, the minimum buffer between commercial and residential zonings is at least 15 feet wide, including a six foot tall fence and additional landscape. This is a view of the property from the corner of Smith and James. And again, from the middle of James, looking back towards Smith and North. And again, looking down Smith Street from the property, subject property to your right here. Noted in the applicant's letter, they have a long history with the neighborhood, and they're uh, looking to provide basic community resources such as medical and retail amenities at this location. And no particular commercial use has been determined. Regarding the agent's, uh, agent's letter of intent as well, it is within the urban service area and the neighborhood activity center, within 500 feet of a community activity center designated area. And goal seven, policy seven, and objective seven, in the uh, ULD's uh, conference of plan regarding land use and support for the case request. Questions for our speaker? Thank you, Mr. Colts. Oh, uh, he's marketing this so he can put anything he wants there. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions for our speaker? Thank you, Mr. Colts. Thank you, Mr. Colts.
correct? Within the zone? Within, the Within what's allowed by the zone? Okay. <coughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Colson. I appreciate it. Um, Commissioner Bailey just had a question. Have we given them a time limit for developing this? this no, way? I understand that not the time limit on, on development. Okay. Uh, speaking with the applicant, he just said he is going to remain in control of any development and she's the best fit for the neighborhood. Again, we have to determine the use other than what he said. But you can control what you want to say. Okay. There is not a specific provision within the UODC currently for solar panels. Uh, typically, they're handled on a case by case basis. Uh, but we have seen similar zonings. We've also seen uh, industrial zonings, MAG zonings, residential zonings all be converted to solar. So the couple of uh, uh, uses that were mentioned, perhaps some light retail and medical, that is um, appropriate for that zoning. Yes, ma'am. That is allowed in commercial general zoning. You should all have a copy of all the allowed uses within commercial zoning. Right. Okay. All right. So anything outside of that, then they would need to come back for a conditional use. Well, certain things are allowed by right commercial. Some have supplemental standards. Right. Um, if they wanted something outside of that commercial general Okay. There is a commercial plan review process once plans are submitted, which can be denied for reasons, uh, again, for technical reasons by the community plans. Okay. Have you had any objection calls? I have not received any objection calls. I have received general uh, inquiries in the neighborhood. Again, not in a specific nature. I mean, there are those who are just curious of what is going on in this property and who have a deep issue with the neighborhood as well. All right, we have time. Is there anyone else tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this property? All right, if not, is there anyone wishing to speak against this? And I'll remind you that we have 10 minutes. Um, so unless you're speaking for the group. <laughs> All right, if you could give us your name and address, please, sir. My name is William C. Morgan, 2181 Smith Street, here in Valdosta, Georgia. It's not a matter of if the rezoning can be done, but it's a matter of if the rezoning should be done, especially over the objections of an overwhelming majority of the citizens of that community. I'd like for the landowners to stand, uh, as I mentioned them. The landowner on the north side of the property in question is Mr. Chester Wright. Not only Mr. Wright, but the Davis family, the Bailey family, the Payton family, the Bulk Knight family. All of these families oppose the rezoning of this property. The owner to the immediate south of this particular property, Mr. Lane, Robert Lane, he's standing, he opposes this rezoning. The landowner to the west side, Mr. Nathaniel Baker Jr. Now all of these are in the immediate proximity of this piece of land. He opposes the rezoning. And the landowner to the east side, which is the Morgan family, which I'm a part of, we oppose the rezoning of this property. There are 10 pastors or preachers who live or pastor churches in the area, they all oppose the rezoning. And those pastors that are present, would you please stand? Additionally, we have over 107 signatures and addresses from owners and residents of this community <coughs> who strictly oppose the rezoning of this property from residential to commercial. The will of the community 
is that this application to rezone be denied. The proposed rezoning to commercial is right next to our home. It is right next to our lifetime investments. It is in the immediate area where our children and grandchildren play and get off the school buses. And as it relates to uh, school, in this same vicinity is the West Side Elementary School. A rezoning of the property to commercial will inherently amen, jeopardize the buffer or area of safety wherein the school now operates. And let me just repeat that again. The same vicinity where the property is, inherently, if it is approved, if this application is approved, will inherently jeopardize the buffer or area of safety wherein the school operates. And what I, what I reference when, uh, when writing this is this. When you look at Moody Air Force Base, there is a buffer around the Air Force Base. No one can build, no one can encroach on that particular area. Likewise, it should be for the school. Uh, this afternoon, I measured it, got in my car, cleared up my odometer, and I rode from this particular property to West Side Elementary School. It was 0.3 tenths, 0.3 tenths away from the school. And that is within that buffer of, of safety. So, again, for this cause, uh, we ask that uh, this application be uh, denied. In addition to West Side Elementary School uh, being in the immediate area, there is a historic African-American schoolhouse adjacent right across the street from this property. This is one of just a few uh, schoolhouses, if you will, from the 1930s, 1940s, and 1950s that are still existing, not to mention and still standing in Lowndes County. This schoolhouse is still being used for community purposes. In considering just these two schools in the immediate area of the proposed rezoning, the rezoning of this property to commercial in this area is a terrible idea. The final thing I want to uh, say to the commissioners, there are those who say that cooperation between the citizens and their local government is just a theory. It's just something that you learn in school. Some say it's a fallacy, it's not true, because that's not actually what happens. They say. But we subscribe, and I want you to see all of those in the Jones community. All of the Jones community, would you please stand? All of those who come from the Jones community. We don't subscribe to that kind of thinking. We believe that there is cooperation between the collective citizenry of our community and our local government, especially here in Lowndes County, Georgia. It is our hope that the application to rezone this property to commercial be denied. God bless each of you, and thank you so much. I think that's something great. I think that's something that we can live with if it's residential, certainly. That's an excellent question. I'm I, I just curious because, you know, it, they could possibly put 30 houses in there and with traffic. I'm just curious if what, what your thought was on that, too. But could you answer my question? I'm just trying to just, I just want to see the map here and answer that question. Right. Uh, one of the things that I noticed when we were describing. Uh, the request to rezone is that there was no um, 
concrete answer to what is going to be built there. Now, since it's our home, you may think that it's um, sort of melodramatic. However, uh, since we live there, uh, we're saying that we don't want any bars there. We don't want any liquor stores there. We, and see, we don't know right now, it's a Pandora's box. If you approve it, we don't know what we're going to get in that community. There's so many things. A vaping store can be put there. So many, an adult store can be put there. There are some limitations, Mr. Morgan, on what can go into um, a CG zoning. I don't have that in front of me. Do we not have uh, a slide for that? Liquor store and night store. Okay. All right. And so we we just want to let you know that um, we believe in the process of our county government, and we also believe that there is a cooperation uh, between the citizens um, and the uh, county government. So once again, uh, we thank you uh, so much. Uh, I want to also mention once again, and I'll be through, and that is this. We have over 107, there's a person who is securing signatures along with us. Um, she has not told me how many she has, but she's here today. <coughs> Um, there are over 100 uh, signatures of people who say we do not want <coughs> this to be rezoned to commercial. Thank you so much. Mr. Morgan, if you'll make sure that that petition gets made available to Ms. Tranny, we'd appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. We've exhausted our time for those who wish to speak on behalf. I'm sorry, against this request. So um, given that, we will turn it back over to the commissioners. Is there any other discussion? Comments, questions? can be put in there, and it does, as uh, the commissioner here said, range it from a liquor store to a dog kennel to just almost whatever. So I can understand where the neighbors are coming from when, when we don't know what's going to go there. No other discussion. I will open the floor for um, a motion. Madam Chair. Yes, Commissioner Bailey. On County Case REZ 2022 09, I want you to rezone this from current R1 to a CG zoning. Um, I make a motion that uh, we deny the request. All right. All right. All right. We have a motion to deny, and it's been seconded by Commissioner Wilds. Is that who you've got, Trini? There were several. Okay, we'll go with Commissioner Wilds at this point. All right, is there any motion? I'm sorry, any discussion on the motion to deny? All right, if not, all those in favor of the motion to deny, please raise your right hand. All those against, and that motion carries. Thank you. All right, we are moving along.